Hi, you guys. Whoa. Excuse me. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I want to talk to you guys about acne and, like, well, my acne and how I treated it and what happened. And I don't know. Maybe it might be happening to some of you guys and you might not even know. Um, so, like, a year ago or a little bit more than a year ago, I started breaking out. I had never broken out like nasty status at all like during puberty and stuff like that. Like yeah, I got like a few breakouts but nothing major and my skin was pretty clear besides that. And I am 20, I want to say 24 but I'm not 24 yet. I'm 23 and so up to this point my skin has been okay. And last year or like a year ago, um, I started to break out really bad around this area and it was mostly this side it was like those big red hurtful ones and then the little ones and uh it was just like getting really bad to the point that I was getting self-conscious about my acne and I had never broken out before so I wasn't sure how to treat it or what to do so I was kind of like worrying especially because I don't just leave my pimples just there to grow I kind of like pop them and I think I just got that from my dad because he would do that to us so whenever he saw one he would want us he wants to like pop them and stuff which I know it's kind of gross but I didn't like having them there and then I would wash it and stuff like that so I've been good about washing my face and everything and so I was breaking out and I didn't know why at first I started thinking well maybe it's because I eat a lot of chips and well back then I was still not eating a lot of chips but I thought it was every time I ate chips I felt like I broke out more so I started thinking well maybe I'm just at that age where like my the food that I'm eating is actually affecting me so I started thinking maybe it was the chips so I decided to eat stop eating the chips um even though it was really hard because I love chips and so I stopped eating that and I was drinking a lot of water I already drink a lot of water because I am like I like water so I was drinking water I wasn't eating chips I was trying not to eat junk food and I was just trying to like wash my face keep it clean keep my pillows clean do everything that I could possibly do and I was even considering maybe I'm using a product that um, was breaking me out for something but nothing was working and I would see my my breakouts kind of clear up once in a while but then it would come up again and it was just getting really frustrating especially because I was worried that graduation was coming and I still had all this acne in my face and I had never had this problem before so I wasn't sure what to do and then my friend Monica tells me that it might be my phone that it's breaking me out and I was like what and I own an iPhone right now I didn't own I didn't always used to have an iPhone um so before the iPhone I had the Samsung Galaxy S I think and I used to use that phone for a while and then after that I got the iPhone 5c I didn't want to go straight into the iPhone just because I, I didn't really care for the iPhones and well I still don't really care but um I went for the iPhone 5C just because I know that the iPhones were known to break and stuff like that. So I just wanted to be on the safe route and I, I knew that the 5C was more, more like durable because it wasn't like exactly glass. So I had the 5C for a while and throughout that time I, I don't think I, I was breaking out yet. But once I got the iPhone, what is this, the rose gold, the 6S, um, I started to break out and I didn't put those two together I never I don't know it didn't cross my mind that it could have been my phone breaking me out and I know it was my phone because um, when I would answer the phone I would answer with this side and once I wasn't always on the phone and there were only a few occasions when I would be talking to my friend and it would be a, quite a while that we're on the phone so I would be on this side and when I would get tired I would switch it to this side and so my breakouts were actually really bad on this side and this side was just it would break out and have those bad areas but it wasn't as much as this side and that's what kind of made me think okay maybe it is my phone because when I answer my phone it's always on this side it's rarely on this side so I was like okay I'm gonna put this to the test and see if it is my phone breaking me out and it would make sense because we touch our phones with our hands and my hands are not always clean 
and I wash my hands pretty often but it's still not always clean and then if I eat or something I still touch my phone and you can see how dirty it is like just going like this you can leave your your marks on the on the phone so I would sometimes clean it but no one at least I don't know of anyone that actually gets and cleans their phone which now I would do just because I know that my phone breaks me out but I no longer put my phone on my face. I now, every time that I answer, it's on, I put it on speaker. The only bad part about putting your, your calls on speaker is that you don't really have privacy. People could hear what you're talking about. So that's kind of like, unless you have your headphones, you have to like put your headset on. But um, yeah, my phone was breaking me out and I found out because I started tracking my my skin after that. I, I decided that I wasn't gonna put my phone on my face anymore. Um, I started taking pictures of my of my skin, which I will share with you guys um, in this area right here. I'll start putting the pictures. Um, I started putting how it was, and this isn't as bad as it was in the beginning. It was really bad, but this is how bad it got. And as weeks went by and days went by, like, I still kept taking pictures when I would clean my face, scrub it and everything. And then I would, like, put my treatments, like, um, my um, serums and night creams and stuff like that. So that's why my face is going to look kind of shiny in some of the pictures. But as you can see, a lot of the scars are there, a lot of the redness. It was really bad. And even, and I felt even bad putting makeup on top of that. But I felt self-conscious of like going out and like having all that stuff there. Unless I was going out where like I wasn't really going to see anyone or just hang out with them or whatever. Um, but for the most part I would put um, makeup. But even the makeup would like just go over it because it was like very bumpy. And it was just, it was very horrible. And what I started doing is I started just taking pictures which does help so if you're having breakouts and you're trying different treatments it is good to take pictures just so you kind of start seeing the difference because I would ask my, my brothers or my sister like oh it doesn't look like it's getting better and then they're like uh no it looks the same but to me I knew it was getting better because I was like no it's getting better it's fine so I was taking the pictures I was looking the through the progress and I was noticing that my skin started to clear up now what you're just gonna continue seeing is just kind of like the dark spots like the 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 like the leftover of what my my um, breakouts left and so for that I was using three different masks which I have um, listed on my other video which I'll link it down below it's my favorite um facial mask or something like that I forgot what I named it and um, three of those masks that I really enjoyed was one, it was a Dead Sea. So this is the one I was using. It was called the Pure and Essential Minerals Dead Sea Mud Mask. So, I don't know, focus, focus. And I used the Pink Madison Advancing Skin Care Whitening Mask, which is this pink and white one. So I used this one. This one is the one that I, I give more details about both of these and then the last one that I used was the Aztec um, mask which all three helped for in different areas I would I started using these a lot every single I for a while I was using it every day which is a little too much so I try to use it like three times a week um, especially this one because the burning sensation from this one kind of made me feel better and it made it calm down the redness and things like that and then this one just helps me and I'm still using this one right now just to help me clear out of the of the what's called um of the of the dark spots that are left over sorry if I look that way so I'm looking at the viewfinder to make sure that I'm on focus just because of the things so yeah um so this is what I'm currently using right now just to kind of clear out my skin but for the most part I can even without even with my makeup now you can see I barely got like two or something like that but it's pretty much all cleared up and even without my makeup I'll probably put a, a, a recorded um, insert right here without my makeup so it does look a lot better my skin feels better and I'm not self-conscious anymore because th that was getting really bad so yeah um, I do recommend these masks in case you're you're having breakouts and stuff like that and if you it's if your skin is clearing out already but you still have those like scarring and like dark spots I do recommend this this um, facial mask because it does lighten those marks up and then eventually with time it will 
go to the point that it's kind of faded out and you can't see it anymore so your skin will be evened out a lot better so I do recommend this cream I don't know what it is about iPhones that break you out because my friend was saying to me that she she would break out with it too so I don't know if it's just because it's glass I don't know because I used to always put my phones like on my face but maybe because back then it was a buttons, you didn't always touch it with your fingers and now you touch everything with your fingers. So I don't know why my phone was breaking me out and it's not like I'm going to be cleaning my phone like every single second. So I would drop my phone on the floor and it would touch the floor too and dirty and you know like your phone touches everything and I was putting that on my face and that's why I was breaking out crazy thing you would never guess that your phone's breaking you out but in case you guys started breaking out of nowhere and you're drinking water and you're doing everything that you can and you're still breaking out just I don't know it might be your phone you might want to check that out see if your face is breaking out more on one side than the other like put one and one together I don't know this is just in case you guys are wondering and this is what happened with me and I'm really happy that it's nothing else because I was getting really sad that I was considering like going to the doctor and be like dermatologist and be like do something about my face because I don't know what's going on but I'm glad that it's clearing up so I'm very happy and thankful for that so I hope this was helpful I don't know maybe so um, I'll see you guys next time in my next video bye Hi guys, welcome to my room. <laughs> this is your room. No, Why are you not wearing that shirt? I always wear PJs. That's, I don't care. I know I these people. That's how I start my oh, 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 jeez. Oh. Is it recording? It's recording already. Hi.